Yeah, I tell you what, I mean, I don't even know how to get to victory lane here. We need some signs or something, I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> I thought we were putting up enough new signs at this place. I guess we got to get one for victory lane. Oh, you guys, you guys are doing a fantastic job. It's a great racetrack. Tonight the conditions were a little bit rough. Uh, I actually liked it that way, but uh, it was hard to... It would have been hard to keep the holes and stuff down in the racetrack with the rain that we've had, but uh, these guys did a fantastic job. My car owners did a fantastic job. An awesome car owner. My crew chief, Jim Schreiner, Great race car. Uh, in the beginning, I was out there kind of spinning my tires, and uh, I didn't know what to do, and I was freaking out. He told me to just calm down and drive the thing. And eventually, it came here. I found the line up at the top of one or two down there with the new wheels, really seemed to be rolling. And it was fast. Uh, I just got to thinking. I mean, Tyler's going to pass me on the top here pretty soon, unless I figure it out. I don't know where it was, but I finally figured it out, and I got to walk in there. Well, Tyler was coming up the top, and you stayed up top there earlier. And you're right, you were running in above that rough right in the middle down here. Lap after lap of restarts, you were trying it. It didn't seem to click for you, but here in the last five or eight laps, you really seen the game. Did you think you had enough to pass the seven? Um, at first I didn't until I, I tweaked my line a little bit there. I was running in above it and then pulling it down and trying to come off the bottom because Keith was sliding up and finally I figured I needed to just beat him to the point where he slides up in front of me and I did. And uh, that's because we got a great car, great motors, fantastic people behind me. I couldn't ask for anything more. And I love this racetrack. And I'm telling you, I'll be here every night you guys run. Well, we appreciate you supporting us. Charlie and Don have been long time supporters as well. And Justin, you and I have talked on several occasions and one of the things you're very cognizant of is how hard you're working to keep this race track going. Yeah, you guys are doing a great job. I love the fact that you're proactive and not just sticking with the norm. You know, uh, doing the handicap deal and, and forcing new people to start at the back, that's really tough to gain cars. You know, I don't know how you're going to gain cars when you force people to start at the back to come here and just want to come on along with us. And I welcome all comers. This is a great racetrack. I want everybody to see this place. It's a lot of fun, and I love coming back here. You saw this place as fast as you've ever seen it tonight. So what did you learn to do? Um, I learned to trust in my crew chief, you know, I mean that's one thing that I've done since we got him. And, and uh, we put on used tires, which is another thing I love about this place. You can bolt on used tires. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many shows are on these tires, but it was... Uh, Jim says two. Two, well two. Two plus this that makes it three. So that just goes to show you, it doesn't take a ton of money to run here. And uh, once the tires got going and we were even with everybody else, we started making gains and uh, started making moves. And I don't, I don't know if Cliff would have got spun out there, I don't know if we would have had a chance, but things happen for a reason, that's why we're in victory lane. That's right, and let's hope this is your first of many. Congratulations, Justin, your first career win at the historic Oval. We're gonna let...